I think maybe three things. One was the trying to figure out what core both values and distinctive activities and learning experiences spoke to who Hamill was and could be. The second thing is what was kind of driving faculty and staff interests and concerns. And then the third thing was, how do you create institutional change? So the goal was to kind of set up an internal set of resources to evaluate what kinds of things we think students are learning from the liberal arts, are, are distinctive best practices in the liberal arts, or new cutting edge, uh, uh, new cutting edge opportunities. So one of the best ways to change curriculum teaching is to give good teachers room to explore and innovate, and then ask them to tell other good teachers what they've learned. So there was the opera workshop, which culminated in a fantastic performance um, by people who I don't think <laughs> had a lot of opera training before. Similarly, there was a chemistry and art project, a beautiful intersection of two generally very distinct liberal arts kind of skills, the fine arts and the natural sciences. And then I'll name one other, there's a, a, a project on organizing, community organizing 101, just bringing in numerous activists from around the cities in different sorts of organizations to try to think, think through, how do you be a community organizer? I think we emerge from it with a, a variety of experiences, both for students and staff and faculty, that they can, memories they can carry forward, say this was something that really, this stood out, this was a distinctive opportunity. So it's not just 10 to 15 students in my class had a really fantastic experience, but that out of that class, Given what we've all learned, we can take and pass it on, carry it forward with another generation of classes. So I think quantitatively what we're going to see is new resources for teaching and learning uh, in the next year and the years to come. One, a desire for thinking about how do we do interdisciplinarity. One of the things that I think is exciting is everybody's always starved for an opportunity to do something that connects across disciplines and what we learn from a lot of these classes is great ways to do that. The second thing I like is uh, experiential. I think people learn by doing and so the opportunity in January not just to study opera but to sing it <laughs> changes I think what people take away from it. So I, I hope that this revolutionizes how we think about teaching and learning Hamlet. If we think about experiential learning, if we think about interdisciplinarity, if we think about mentored reflection, over the long haul, continuing to invest in this sort of initiative funding, in these sort of faculty and staff development work, will, will be invaluable at changing, uh, at foregrounding what's most distinctive about Hamlin in the next few years.